Hello everyone, this is Tyler here, and I'm going to talk to everyone about Switzerland. Um, Switzerland, of course, is a Central European country. It's been a very famous country. It's obviously very well known for things such as chocolate, technology, and just being a very big banking hub of, of Europe and of the world. I think Switzerland actually um, set its, its course as a banking hub way before this became a popular trend worldwide. They were way ahead of the trend. And I think for quite a while they were a very trustworthy system. I, I don't know if Switzerland now is the best place if you're a wealthy person to bank for people seeking international accounts, but I think it does fill this purpose for many folks out there. Now, Switzerland's an interesting country. It has kind of a mixture of Germanic, French, and Italian cultures. I myself have never traveled to Switzerland, but I have known a few people from there. I actually had a Swiss friend when I lived in Chile, and I, I learned quite a bit about the country and kind of how it sits in the mindset of younger folks there. In Switzerland, firstly, it's a very challenging country presently for, for men to simply economically get by. I, I still remember this friend of mine when I was in Chile told me a story about how he started university and his dad had given him as like kind of a give slash living expenses, some kind of fun you might say. He had given him the equivalent of around $15,000. And he, he basically had spent this, the establishment's extremely pricey, like nightlife and any kind of entertainment. And obviously Switzerland's not a country, it's not made for younger folks, it's not made for poor folks. Even for average people, it's very difficult to get by. They, they obviously kind of established themselves as a country promoting itself for the wealthy to come in to bank, maybe establish their business entities there and buy properties, buy land, etc. In recent history, Switzerland transformed and became one of the most expensive places as a country to live in the world. On a city basis, like Zurich, Geneva, these major cities, some of the most expensive cities in the world. Switzerland also keep in mind that it's comprised of three main cultures. It's Italian, Germanic, and French culture. So you have all three of these languages that comprise the country. It's kind of an interesting mixture, influence of cultures here. And also, of course, Switzerland has had a very well-known history for its winter sport, like ski tradition, and everyone knows about Davos, and that's somewhere they hold ski events and, of course, famous conference for the super wealthy and oligarchs, we might say. Going back to what I was talking about, this guy, he, he spent this huge fund, uh, this, or he spent this sum of money that his dad had allotted him. It, it was really for his living cost. It was, it was not meant for all the entertainment and all these other activities. And I still recall him telling me, Tyler, it's so easy to spend that, that kind of money within a year here in Switzerland and much quicker often, in fact. It may have been six months that he spent this sum of money from his dad. But the point is, is that nightlife, entertainment is not affordable for many guys' restaurants. And this is one major reason why, like, for dating, relationships, marriages, very challenging place for a younger person, younger guy to, to enjoy themselves. And also remember too that the overall population is very small in general, but also with that being said, the younger women in this country are gonna be much more sought out by older men that have serious money. You're gonna have both domestic guys and a lot of foreign guys that are coming into the country and could potentially date, have relationships, Switzerland has had a very well-known history of, of a lot of both infidelity and, and just in um, terms of relationships, it, it's not been very favorable in recent history for guys because of all this wealth. And all that also means that there's a lot of very financially good jobs for women, whether it's private, public sector, because basically in all sectors, the money is spread out. And, and as we know too, Germanic societies tend to have 
more egalitarian structures. Switzerland isn't purely Germanic per se, but as I stated before, it has a lot of Germanic elements because of that three-group situation, Italian, French, and German, in the country. I would say the biggest influences are probably French and German. And it's basically when you go from Canton to Canton, the language shifts. I believe there's also one other language that, that spoke a bit also. Switzerland is very challenging now. Like I said, living costs very expensive. So to buy like property, to rent property, very challenging. If anyone knows, like you go to Zurich, Geneva, just for like low-end apartments in, in these kind of cities, $5,000 is like minimum often. And, and they, they go way higher. It's, that gives you an idea of, of the kind of cost you're looking at. And keep in mind, a lot of people, while there's a lot, a lot of very wealthy people, there's also a lot of average people. Many of the domestic population actually probably fall in that more average category. A lot of the very wealthy are actually international. There may be people that are living there part of the year. So the real estate market is it's, it's quite challenging and unaffordable for many of the young Swiss people. And this friend also had informed me that nowadays, even with a fairly good job market there, guys actually will travel elsewhere, they'll live elsewhere to work, because even though jobs may pay pretty well, it's just too expensive. They can't, cannot afford to live there. And so they'll travel to other European countries or outside of the continent to get work. They may live outside for some time, save money, and then come back so that they can then afford to live by property. Some they'll choose to permanently go elsewhere or maintain like a passport and, and just live in a different place because it's it's very unaffordable for many people even with some favorable tax structures of switzerland it's still very challenging whether you're looking at your living expenses your accommodation like home all these areas they they obviously add up for many young people it's quite difficult to get by and also going back to like the property cost Keep in mind, as we see in other European markets, properties, the prices have become so inflated due to the fact that there's high demand, you have a lot of foreign interest, and even though there's plenty of countryside to build on, there's only so many towns and cities. Like the major cities is where the most interest, of course, is for a living. I mean, if you go to small towns, villages in Switzerland, there's not gonna be a lot of jobs, a lot of work. And so people are gonna have to live in the big cities or live nearby to work. And that obviously means that they have to look in markets that are very, very saturated and they're gonna be paying very high costs to live there. That's the problem, of course, with systems like Switzerland, how the country is run, is more catered often, I think, to international people due to its tradition within like banking and, and business and, and that, that's just how Switzerland is. So, and so for like younger guys, as I said, Many people also don't know Switzerland was very ahead when it came to like the dating app. Dating apps were a big thing from qu quite a long time ago and they've certainly um, continued to become more popular as we've seen in other countries. So the dating app situation is also another area that guys have to contend with apart from it being a, both very expensive and very like inflated market they also have the, all the competition. And in other countries, you have a large spectrum of guys getting onto these dating apps that the guys also have to compete with. So it's exceptionally challenging, all these factors combined. And also, keep in mind, Switzerland, very peaceful country. Peaceful countries don't aren't usually very favorable for guys. You'll notice is that the more chaotic the country, the better it is for dating relationships. Any time it's very peaceful, it, it's probably not a good situation when it um, comes to those particular areas. Switzerland uh, has not been involved in any kind of conflict now for ages, and they have been considered one of the most neutral countries in Europe for many, many, many years. And, and Switzerland is still like this. You, you see this similar trend. If you look at the most peaceful countries, often they tend to have these situations where they're not so good for dating for marriage because it's one factor. There's not high amounts of danger. So women in this sense don't need men. There's no 
high imminent threat of danger. Just like you'd see here in Estonia, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Sweden, or Scandinavia as a whole, you often find that, that and then when you compare it to countries or places more chaotic, even in Europe, it's kind of the opposite mentality. They, there's a often more need for guys for protection there. And also Switzerland, of course, very landlocked country. I spoke about small landlocked. And as we see in other small landlocked countries, people can often leave, they can go elsewhere, whether it's for work, travel, study. And that's one positive thing on, on a side note that um, the guys I've known from Switzerland, they often have no problem with dating, with relationships, even in neighboring uh, neighboring European countries. There's um, places nearby to go, and Switzerland globally has a very good reputation. So they, people often can get uh, into most countries without visa and without any problems. The, it has a um, very high ranking in this sense. So overall, Switzerland is a very difficult um, place for any guy, especially younger guys. And it's definitely a, a place that you're gonna need some serious money if you want to live there long term. And most MGTOW guys are probably better off going to other places, even if they're, they're nearby. And that's my take on it. So give me your feedback below. Thank you.